Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to Day 39 of 100 Days on Earth Concepts. Today in this video, uh, I'll explain you about what is this zone axis. So, in some of the previous year questions, you usually tend to see some questions of zone axis. So, without going into, uh, you know, in-depth of characterization, we'll try to look at how we can calculate this zone axis, right? So, what is this zone axis? So, zone axis is basically nothing but a common direction to a bunch of planes okay so let's consider two planes over here okay so zone axis is a common direction to two planes right so let me take okay two planes which are random but immediately uh, after looking at it you must see that you have a common direction that is present for both these planes okay that means let me take this to be some h1 k1 l1 and uh, this be some h2 k2 l2 and uh, let the zone axis be u v w so i already said this u v w is the common direction to my two given planes h1 k1 l1 and h2 k2 l2 so this is nothing but the zone axis now the problem is if you know the Miller indices of H1, K1, L1 and H2, K2, L2. How can I calculate this zone axis? So one thing you must remember over here is that it's, it must satisfy uh, many conditions. So first condition if you want to write, okay, it lies in both the uh, planes. So you can directly write UH1 plus VK1 plus WL1 should be equal to 0. Similarly, you can also write UH2 plus VK2 plus w l2 should be equal to zero so these are some conditions basically uh, we know what are the different conditions right uh, for any direction to lie in a plane right so using that you can you know verify this directly using these two conditions now no if you want an exact value if you want a procedure to calculate then let's say uh, these are the planes okay these are the normal plane normals so we know that the miller indices of a plane and the Miller indices of the plane normal both are same, right? So this will be H1 K1 L1. This will be H2 K2 L2. Correct. Now using the prior knowledge of vector, okay, or vector algebra, so you can say that if you have a direction perpendicular to two directions, or you know any vectors. So if a vector is perpendicular to two other vectors, you can calculate the direction using cross product of the two vectors which you are talking about so here how to calculate this cross product directly you can calculate by using determinants of so let me take ijk are nothing but the two you know coordinate axis three coordinate axis and you got h1 k1 l1 and h2 k2 l2 so by doing this you can directly get the value of the vector which is perpendicular to these two vectors so that means you can say that uvw which we are calculating using this vector algebra is nothing but the zone axis because it is the common direction to two planes or you can also say it is a common direction perpendicular to both the plane normals right so i think you are able to connect it what i am telling right so this is a short video explaining you about what is zone axis and how to calculate it so i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also do check out everythingmetallurgy.com right in order to you know enroll under us with one of the best video course for gate metallurgy or you know one of the most affordable test series with about 60 tests that we are providing for gate metallurgy Thank you guys. Meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept. Thank you.